pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Where is the light? Where's the light? Is there a light? No light? Yes, Mayor. Board of Commissioners, public meeting, Tuesday, April 4th, 2017. The time is now 7.48. Pursuant to the requirements of the Open Public Meeting Act, Chapter 231, Public Law 1975, notice of this meeting was published in December 1st, 2016, issues of the Nutley Sun and the Herald News, and the December 2nd, 2016, issue of the Star Ledger. A copy of this notice has been posted on the Nutley Town Hall Bulletin Board and a copy is on file in the Municipal Clerk's Office. Commissioner Rogers. Here. Commissioner Tucci. Here. Commissioner Evans. Uh, is absent excused this evening. Commissioner Petraco. Here. Mayor Scarpelli. Here. All present mayor except for Commissioner Evans. He's absent excused this evening. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Want the minutes? Yes, Mayor. We have Board of Commissioners meeting minutes for March 7, 2017 and March 10, 2017 for a budget workshop. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. And that's it for minutes, Mayor. Communications. Communications. The Nutley Hockey Booster Club has submitted an event application to hold a Father's Day Street Fair on Sunday, June 18, 2017, between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. on Franklin Avenue between Center Street and Chestnut Street. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Knights of Columbus uh, Holy Family Council is, re is requesting permission to hold a Sunday raffle on August 6, 2017 at 1, 1 o'clock um, at the Holy Family Church on 28 Brookline Avenue. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. And that's it for communications, Mayor. Reports, Commissioner Tucci? Yes, I have a shade tree report for March of 2017. Thank you. Bills, Madam Clerk. Yes, Mayor. Bill list for Tuesday, April 4th, 2017. Thank you. Public Affairs, $79,410.21. Revenue and Finance, $2,404,097.27. Public Safety, $42,441.84. Public Works, $42,594.69. Parks and Public Property, $687,606.52. For um, total payroll, $823,479.32. For a grand total of $4,079,629.85. Mm -hmm. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. And that's it for Bills, Mayor. Before we get to uh, public comment, we have uh, three Boy Scouts here today, and uh, we'd like them to stand up. They're here to get their merit badge and observe a meeting. So thank you guys for coming, and I hope you have an enjoyable day listening to us. Thank you. Public comment on agenda items only. Madam Clerk, please read the notice. Yes, Mayor. All persons addressing the Board of Commissioners regarding community concerns should approach the microphone and provide their name and address for the record. Unless further time is granted by the Board, each person shall limit their address to three minutes. All remarks to the Board and its individual members must be addressed to the Mayor. The Mayor may defer citizens' comments to the appropriate member of the Board. Dialogue between citizens and others addressing the Board shall be allowed unless the Mayor or presiding officer or the majority of the membership of the Board shall determine that the interest of decorum and or the expeditious conduct of municipal business are adversely affected by such dialogue. Anybody like to address the Board of Commissioners on the agenda items only? Mr. 
State your name and address for the record. Looks like it's just me. <laughs> Good evening, Mayor Scarpelli, members of the Board of Commissioners. Uh, my name is John D. Phillips. Madam Clerk, if I can give you a hand with that, it's D E F I L I P P I S. Thank you. And I'm at 101 River Road here in Nutley. I am the president of the Board of Directors of the Sleepy Hollow Condominium Association. And I just want to thank uh, Commissioner Petraco uh, for drafting this ordinance. I believe it's Ordinance 3353, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the parking on River Road, that is a major, major safety issue for our residents. So on behalf of our community, I want to thank you uh, for drafting this ordinance. And I just wanted to ask um, about the process from here. I have had conversations uh, with Ms. Pettis, and thank you again for being so dutiful and following up and communicating with me. Um, I believe this will take effect in 20 days, is that correct? I believe so. Okay. And if it takes effect in 20 days, what would be a reasonable time frame for you to install the signs and the yellow curbs? Could that be done in May or would it yeah, take I mean, longer we than that? Work with DPW with that, so. Yeah, as soon as, we, uh, as soon as the ordinance is passed, we get the work order. Uh, we make sure the 20 days are up and then it'll be done you know, within that uh, time period. Um, with, you mean after the, after after the 24th? The 20 days. After the 20 days. After, okay, so is May a reasonable expectation? Only because I'm going to get questions from residents. The, uh, the, yellow, the yellow curbs, as soon as it gets warm and we can paint, but certainly the signs will go up. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming out. We appreciate it. Anybody else want to be heard on agenda items only? Seeing none, can I have a motion to close the uh, public Moving. comment? Second. Mr. Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Board of Commissioner announcements. Commissioner? <coughs> I have uh, two announcements. One, uh, this Saturday, April 8th, we will have rigid uh, plastic recycling. Those are the big uh, plastic items, sliding boards, kitchens that go outside, um, the chairs uh, that you may sit on uh, during the holidays outside. Uh, that will be in parking lot one, uh, or parking lot eight, and then shredding day uh, will be April 15th. Apropos, um, come out and have your bank statements, your tax forms, uh, anything that of sensitive nature, and it will be shredded uh, by a, a reputable shredding company, and you don't have to worry about those private matters. Uh, anybody else? All right, let's go to ordinance introductions. Commissioner Petraco. Thank you. Um, my first ordinance introduction is the one that is regarding Edison Avenue and Oakley Terrace. Um, after a lot of review with my administrators in public safety and our chief of police, the recommendation has come out to um, move forward with this decal and only on these two streets for now review it for six months and then come out with some findings and see how if it needs to be tweaked or if anything needs to be um, studied further at that point and see how we move forward through the whole township so this is ordinance number three three five six an ordinance to amend an ordinance codified in the code of the township and notley chapter 228 entitled vehicles and traffic particularly article 9 Angle and permit parking, section 32, entitled permit parking. I move that this ordinance be passed to a second reading and advertising the Nutley Sun together with the notice required by law and the further consideration of said ordinance for final passage by the Board of Commissioners to be held at its second reading on May 11th, I believe. I'm sorry, May, May 2nd. 2nd, 2017. I move the ordinance. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Thank you. Okay, my second introduction is for um, Highfield Lane to our parking prohibited. Um, ordinance number 3357, an ordinance to amend an ordinance codified in the Code of Township of Nutley, Chapter 228, entitled Vehicles and Traffic, or 
particularly Article 2, Parking of Certain Streets, Section 11, entitled Parking Time Limited. I move this ordinance to be passed at second reading and advertised in Dolly Sun together with the require, notice required by law and that further consideration of said ordinance for the final passage of the Board of Commissioners to be held at its second reading on May 2nd, 2017. I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Okay. And my third ordinance is a public hearing this evening that we already commented on. Again, thank you for coming. We appreciate it. Appreciate the support. Um, this ordinance number is 3353, an ordinance to amend an ordinance codified in the Code of the Township of Nolly, Chapter 228, entitled Vehicles and Traffic, particularly Article 2, Section 14, entitled Parking Prohibited During Certain Hours, to add the, to the location set forth there on. Um, at, at this time, I move to open the public hearing. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Would anybody like to be heard on ordinance number 3353? Seeing none, I move to close the public portion of the meeting. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. <clears throat> Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. <laughs> and I move the ordinance. Second. Commissioner Second. Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Yeah. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Thank you, Mayor. Resolutions. Commissioner Tucci? Yes, thank you, Mayor. Whereas the Township of Nutley has a need to acquire specialized professional services as a fair and open contract pursuant to the provision of NJSA 19-44A-20.5, and whereas the Township of Nutley through the Department of Parks and Public Property has a need to acquire specialized and professional services for groundwater investigations, and whereas the anticipated term of this contract is for 12 months from the date of contract award, and whereas Viridian Environmental Consultants P.O. Box 3009 Upper Montclair, New Jersey, has submitted a proposal indicating they will provide such services for the sum not to exceed $15,000, and whereas Viridian Environmental Consultants has completed and submitted a business entity disclosure certification which certifies that said corporation has not made any reportable contributions to a political or candidate committee in the Township of Nutley in the previous one year, and that the contract will prohibit Viridian Environmental Consultants from making any reportable contributions to the term of the contract. Whereas funds are available from account 3323K in the amount of $15,000 and have been certified by the Chief Financial Officer, said certification being attached to this resolution. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners of Township Nutley County of Essex, State of New Jersey, enter into a contract with Viridian Environmental Consultants as described herein, and be it further resolved that the business disclosure entity certification and the determination of value be placed on file with this resolution, and be it further resolved that a notice of this action shall be printed once in the Nutley Sun in accordance with local public contracts law. I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Whereas the, the Parks and Recreation Department has determined there is a need to purchase a tractor loader slash backhoe, and whereas a tractor loader backhoe is best suited for the township needs based on performance, cost savings, and minimal downtime, now therefore be it resolved by the Board of Commissioners of Township of Nutley County of Essex, State of New Jersey, that the township clerk be, and she is hereby authorized to advertise for sealed bids for a tractor loader backhoe combination, and be it further resolved, specifications are available in the purchasing department, Township Hall, 1 Kennedy Drive, Nutley. New Jersey with bids to be received on Wednesday April 26 2017 3 p.m. prevailing time at which time they will be read publicly opened and read in the Commission chambers on the third floor of Township Hall Kennedy Drive I move the resolution second Commissioner Rogers aye Commissioner Tucci aye Commissioner Petraco aye Mayor Scarpelli aye Whereas on Wednesday, April 5th, 2017, the Nutley JCs will hold its 46th Annual Distinguished Service Awards Dinner at the Valley Regency in Clifton to celebrate local Nutley residents doing what they do best, giving back to the community. And whereas the Nutley JCs is part of a national organization that provides opportunities for members to develop personal and leadership skills through service to others, building tomorrow's leaders through community, individual, and manager development. And whereas this year's honoree for Businessman of the Year is John Monaco, 
This year's honoree for Civic Affairs is Linda Bousset. This year's honoree for Educator of the Year is Lynn Zazali. Bear with me. This year's honoree for Outstanding Young Man of the Year is our own Salvatore Scarpelli, who's with us this evening. And our honoree for Public Health and Safety Award is Mary Ann Zorowski. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley County of Essex State of New Jersey join with the citizens of Nutley to salute and congratulate the Nutley JC's uh, awardees for 2017 as they are honored here tonight. I move all these resolutions. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor, just one final note. These will be presented tomorrow night at the JC's event. And that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Commissioner Rogers, can you uh, go through Commissioner Evans' uh, resolutions? You could read those as you see fit, because some of them are rather long. Yes, sir. Thank you. Resolution number 8917, whereas resolution number 4917 to rescind resolution number 2117, denying the 100% permanently disabled veteran tax exemption claim to James S. LaFasso, was adopted by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley at their meeting held on Tuesday, February 7, 2017, and whereas said tax exemption claim was denied by the Essex County Board of Taxation on January 31, 2017, as Mr. LaFasso's spouse solely owned the property without Mr. LaFasso named as owner on the property deed, and whereas the claimant has executed a new deed dated February 14, 2017, with himself and his spouse named as owners of the property, and has reapplied for allowance of a full tax exemption with supporting documentation thus making Mr. LaFasso now eligible in accordance with NJSA 54-4-3.30. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley, County of Essex, State of New Jersey, that James S. S. LaFasso be granted full exemption from payment of property taxes from March 9, 2017, and all subsequent years thereafter, and that property tax payments received from March 9, 2017 to March 15, 2017, shall be refunded to Mr. James LaFasso in the amount of $625.68. Be it further resolved that the Treasurer is hereby authorized to refund the 2014 homestead rebate to the claimant in the amount of $899.95, so moved. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Resolution number 9017, whereas New Jersey Statutes 40A colon 4-19 provides that where debt service is to be paid in 2017 prior to the time of the final adoption of the 2017 budget, temporary appropriation should be made for the amount of such debt service in the manner and time therein provided. Whereas the date of this resolution is subsequent to December 20, 2016, and whereas debt service will become due during the first six months of 2017, now therefore be it resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley that the following temporary appropriation be made. Current fund interest of bonds, 7-01-816-200, $47,000. Total debt service, $47,000, so moved. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Resolution number 9117, whereas 40A, colon 40-20 provides that where contracts, commitments, or payments are to be made prior to the final adoption of the 2017 budget. Emergency appropriations may be lawfully made by the purposes or for the purposes and amounts required in the manner and time therein provided. <clears throat> and whereas the total emergency temporary resolutions adopted in the year 2017 pursuant to the provisions of Chapter 96, Public Law 1951, NJSA 40A, 40-20, including this resolution, Total dollars thirteen thousand zero thirteen million zero five six five seventeen. Now, therefore, be it resolved that in accordance with NJSA forty A colon dash four four dash twenty, emergency temporary appropriations B and the same are hereby made for the total amount thirteen million fifty six thousand five hundred nineteen dollars. That said, emergency temporary appropriations will be provided for the twenty seventeen budget as follows. <clears throat> Total general appropriations, $13,056,519, so moved. Second. 
Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Resolution number 92-17, whereas 48-4-20 provides that where contract commitments or payments are to be made prior to the final adoption of the 2017 water utility budget, emergency appropriations may be lawfully made for the purposes and amounts required in the manner and time therein provided. And whereas the total emergency temporary resolutions adopted in the year 2017, pursuant to the provisions of Chapter 96, Public Law 1951, NJSA 48-4-20, including this resolution, total $1,165,038. Now, therefore, be it resolved that in accordance with NJSA 40A colon 4-20, emergency temporary appropriations be, and the same are hereby made for the total of $1,165,038. That said emergency appropriations will be provided for the 2017 water utility budget as follows, and that will be total water utilities appropriations, $1,165,038.53, so moved. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Resolution 8717? Yes. It's one typographical mistake. Okay. I don't think there's 53 cents on the last uh, entry. So let's just, if we could correct the record, it's $1,165,038 even. I know it's wrong on the document. You didn't read it wrong, but it's. Okay. All right. So I. Uh, Correct that to one million one hundred sixty-five thousand thirty-eight dollars. So move. Oh, I just take the roll again. Roll again. So I'll second it then. Okay. To vote again. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Resolution eighty-seven seventeen. Whereas the tax collector of this municipality has previously issued tax sale certificate to U.S. Bank customer for TLCF 2012A LLC for the following block and lots. Whereas the purchaser of the aforementioned, aforementioned, excuse me, aforesaid tax sale certificates has indicated to the tax collector that they have lost or otherwise misplaced the original tax sale certificate and have duly filed the appropriate affidavit of loss with the tax collector and now, therefore, be it resolved that the tax collector in the municipality be and is hereby authorized upon receipt of the appropriately executed and notarized loss affidavit and the payment of a fee of $100 per certificate to issue appropriate duplicate tax sale certificate to the said purchaser covering the certificate loss as previously, previously described, all in accordance with the requirements of Chapter 99 of Public Laws of 1997. Be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution and the loss affidavit be attached to the duplicate certificate to be issued to said purchaser and that said duplicate certificate shall be stamped or otherwise have imprinted upon it the word duplicate as required by law. Block and lot 104-4, certificate 201-401, amount $428.28, so moved. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Resolution 8817. Be it resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley in the County of Essex, State of New Jersey, that the Treasurer be and she is hereby authorized to refund senior citizen property tax deductions for the tax year 2016 in the amount of $500. The below listed taxpayers are eligible to receive $250 each. Block and lot qual 8104-3, 7300-4. 54 Hastings Avenue in the amount of $250 for 2016 and 291 Center Street in the amount of $250 for the year 2016. So moved. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. That's all I have, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Commissioner Petraco. Resolution appointing Adriana Russo as an interim administrator of the Municipal Court of the Township of Nutley for a one year term. Whereas there is a need to fill a vacancy in the municipal court in the township of Nutley, and whereas after a review by the Judicial Committee and approval by the assignment judge, Adriana, Adriana Russo has been selected for appointment as interim municipal court administrator of Nutley Municipal Court. And where it is desired of the Board of Commissioners to appoint Adriana, Adriana Russo as interim administrator of municipal court of the township of Nutley from April 3rd, 
2017 for a one-year term expiring April 3rd, 2018. And whereas it is required that the interim municipal court administrator complete the require, required municipal certification, which she has almost completed within three years from the date of hire appointment to obtain certification pursuant NJSA 2-11-2D and whereas an inter interim municipal administrator of the court can be reappointed yearly for two years until certification is, is obtained. And whereas the Board of Commissioners hereby authorize Adrian Russo to receive an annual salary of $65,000 as interim administrator in the municipal court of the township in Nutley. Now therefore be resolved by the Board of Commissioners Township in Nutley, County of Essex, State of New Jersey as follows. Adrian, Adriana Russo be and is hereby appointed interim administrator of the municipal court of the township in Nutley for one year term beginning April 3rd, 2017. This, res res this resolution shall take effect immediately. I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Just before I vote this one, um, this one word I'd like to say is that um, <clears throat> Adrian Russo will have big um, shoes to fill as our court administrator. Unfortunately, um, Patty Con Conroy, our last court administrator, um, has passed away from cancer a few months ago, and she is dearly, dearly missed. Um, I have to say that our judge and um, our small committee worked diligently on finding the best person for the job. Um, we really feel confident that um, Mrs. Russo will be uh, an addition to our public safety and our court system here in Nutley, and we're very, we're, we're greeting her with open arms and looking forward to working with her, but I'd be remiss not to mention Patty Conroy's name tonight and how much she'll be missed. I vote aye, thank you. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. <clears throat> be resolved by the Board of Commissioners Township of Nutley County of Essex, State of New Jersey, that the township clerk B and she is hereby authorized to advertise for seal bids and police and crossing guard uniform and equipment. Specifications are available in purchasing department, Township Hall, 1 Kennedy Drive, Nutley, New Jersey. Bids to be received on Wednesday, April 26, 2017, in the Commission Chambers, third floor, Township Hall, Kennedy Drive, at 3 p.m. prevailing time, at which time they will be publicly opened and read. I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Thank you. That's all I have. Thank you, Commissioner. Whereas the Township of Nutley has a need to acquire the services of an independent planning expert to assist the Zoning Board of Adjustment as a non fair and open contract pursuant to the provisions of NJSA 19.44A-20.4 or 20.5 as appropriate, whereas the Zoning Board of Adjustment of the Township of Nutley wishes to retain an independent planning expert to assist the Board in reviewing evidence submitted with respect to applications submitted, and whereas Section 85 Dash 13 and 80, 85 14 of Chapter 85 the Code of the Township of Nutley empowers the Board to appoint such staff as the Board may deem necessary. And whereas, whereas Paul Ritchie, AICP PP of Ritchie Planning, 10 Georgian Way, Clark, New Jersey, is willing and able to provide such expert review of plans, applications, and other documents and matters submitted before the Board and has submitted a proposal indicating they will provide such ser services at a rate of $120 per hour, amount to be paid by the applicant's escrow account. Whereas the anticipated term of the contract is through January 1st, 2017 through December 31st, 2017, and now therefore be resolved that the Board of Commissioner Township of Nutley County of Essex State, New Jersey, authorizes a contract with Ritchie Planning to assist the Zoning Board of Adjustment with respect to applications submitted. Be it further resolved that the business disclosure entity certification and determination of value will be placed on file with this resolution and be it further resolved that a notice of this action shall be printed in the Nutley Southern in accordance with local public contracts law. Move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Whereas raffle applications have been received from the following organizations? A HSA Fair Fairview of Bloomfield, license number 21-17, on-premise 50-50 cash raffle to be held Friday, April 28, 2017, and license number 22-17, on-premise merchandise raffle to be held the same date. Nutley Junior Raiders Booster Club, 
license number 2317 on premise 5050 cash raffle license number 2417 on premise merchandise raffle license number 2517 night at the races all to be held friday may 12 2017 and knights of columbus number 14712 holy family council license number 2617 off premise merchandise raffle to be held sunday august 6 2017 whereas the applications have been reviewed and approved by the municipal clerk and the police department now therefore be resolved by the board of commissioners township of nutley county of essex state of jersey that the aforementioned licenses are approved and municipal clerk is authorized to issue the licenses i move the resolution second commissioner rogers aye commissioner tucci aye commissioner petraco aye mayor scarpelli aye be resolved by the board of commissioners of the township of nutley county of essex state of new jersey that the township clerk is hereby authorized to advertise for seal bids for the 2017 purchase of asphalt material for the township of nutley to be received on behalf of the board of commissioners and commission chambers township paul one kennedy drive nutley new jersey on wednesday April 26, 2017, at 3 p.m. for Valley time, at which time they will be open and read. I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. That concludes the business portion of the meeting. Uh, Madam Clerk, please read the notice. Yes, Mayor. All persons addressing the Board of Commissioners regarding community concerns should approach the microphone, provide their name and address for the record. Unless further time is granted by the Board, each person shall limit their address to five minutes. All remarks to the Board and its individual members must be addressed to the Mayor. The Mayor may defer citizens' comments to the appropriate member of the Board. Dialogue between citizens and others addressing the Board shall be allowed unless the Mayor or presiding officer or the majority of the membership of the Board shall determine that the interest of the quorum and or the expeditious conduct of municipal business is being adversely affected by such dialogue. Would anybody like to address the Board of Commissioners this evening? John DePhillips, 101 River Road. Um, once again, I want to thank you for drafting the parking ordinance. And uh, while I'm here, I'd like uh, your cooperation on another issue uh, that is affecting uh, the residents of Sleepy Hollow. Something that's been going on for many years and uh, still is not resolved, and I'm hoping that I can work with uh, you gentlemen to resolve it. In the back of Sleepy Hollow, uh, the west end of Sleepy Hollow, there's a fence, and then there's a steep hill that leads up to the recycling plant here in Nutley. Now that hill, that's the property of the town. And there are a number of trees on that hill that often are not trimmed in a timely fashion. Also, we get a lot of trash from the recycling plant that gets blown down and accumulates at the bottom by the fence. Uh, I have pictures on my phone that I can show you. The entire landscape at this point today is littered with trash. And it is a quality of life issue for our residents. And I was hoping that uh, someone can be uh, appointed maybe to get in touch with me. Uh, they can meet me on site. I can show them, you know, the issues, the problem, and, you know, we can work with them towards a, a resolution. But it's something that's been going on for a long time, and I'd really like to uh, resolve it permanently, if at all possible. Mr. Phillips, I, I know that uh, Commissioner Tucci and I, uh, you know, in joint effort, make an effort to clean that area peri periodically. It's very windy up at the park. Stuff does blow around, but uh, I can tell you, you know, now that the winter's over, uh, we will definitely address the uh, the trash and recycling that's blown over there. Okay, so is that something that maybe we can get on a routine schedule of sorts to... Yeah. I understand it's not maybe at the top of the list of priorities of the town, but we, it is a quality of life we, issue. We understand the issue from your point of view and having to look at that, and we certainly will you know, make every effort to do that periodically. Okay, well, we have our annual meeting next week, and residents are going to ask me about it. Uh, again, what's a reasonable time frame to expect workers to come and clean uh, that area? Uh, two to three weeks. Two to three weeks? Okay, thank you. Yeah. Anybody else like to address the Board of Commissioners this evening? Seeing none. Commissioner Rogers, Aye. Commissioner Tucci, Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Be, before I vote, I just wanted to ask the Boy Scouts back there, how did you enjoy our meeting? And if you could get through this, 
you could get through anything, I promise you. <laughs> but it was nice to see you guys. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Good night, everybody. And the time is 8.22.